Hi, Matt Watson here from Car Wow. So I'm sitting in an Audi e-tron GT. Next to me is the new Mercedes EQS. And next to that is a Porsche Taycan 4S. And next to that is a Tesla Model S 100D. So a bunch of electric cars hiding down a runway. You love this. Now, I'd like to say a big thanks to the chap who's provided the e-tron, the Tesla and that Taycan. It's Richard Simons. You can follow him on RSEV link popping out now in the top right hand corner of the screen or in the description below go full in there and say thanks for lending Matt the cars also please make sure you subscribe to this channel right and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on that way you won't miss a single upload so let me tell you about this Audi e-tron GT it has two electric motors combined they put out 523 horsepower and 640 newton meters of torque there's a two-speed gearbox all-wheel drive and the car weighs in at 2276 kilos it starts from 81,000 pounds next is the Mercedes EQS so this is the entry level one electric motor version it's rear wheel drive and it puts out 329 horsepower and 568 newton meters of torque it's just got a single speed gearbox and it's quite heavy because it's got a massive battery the biggest battery ever fitted to any electric production car at 108 kilowatt hours as a result the car weighs in at 2480 kilos and it'll start from around hundred thousand pounds Next is the Porsche Taycan 4S. It has two electric motors, combined they put out 571 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque. It has a two-speed automatic gearbox and all-wheel drive. In fact, underneath the skin, it's almost identical to the Audi, only with a bit more power. It's a bit lighter as well. Comes in at 2,220 kilos and obviously being a Porsche, a bit more expensive. Starting price for this is 84,000 pounds. Finally, then we come to the Tesla Model S 100D. It has two electric motors. Combined, they put out 605 horsepower and 687 newton meters of torque. It has a single speed gearbox, all wheel drive, and weighs in at 2,290 kilos. When it was new, it was 82,000 pounds. Oh, right, before we go, let's just do the stats on all the cars. What you need to do now is pause the video and you can see all the different stats. There you go. Let's get on with it. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Three, two, one. Oh, the Taycan's off. That EQS has been dropped. Can I beat the Tesla? Yes! Better though. Here we go, here's the finish line. Woo! Poor EQS. Just the single motor version, so it's a little bit tougher for it. Bear with me a second, people. I've just got to go and get my radio. It's an electric car acceleration for you. Hey, EQS. Nice to see you. How was that for you? Well, it might not have been that quick, but it was so quiet, you wouldn't believe. Yeah, you still got dropped, but I guess you have only got one motor, whereas we've all got two. Porsche, you won. Yeah, launch control, clean start, loads of grip, all four is gone. And Tesla, I beat you in this, Etron. For non performance, Tesla, still happy with the result. He's just saying, he's not really happy. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Porsche won, completing the standing quarter mark in 11.8 seconds. Next was the Audi with 12 seconds, then the Tesla with a time of 12.4 seconds, and finally the Mercedes came last. It did the standing quarter mile in 14.3 seconds, but it did it in the utmost luxury. Okay, now we're gonna have a rolling race from 30 miles an hour. I'm gonna count it in, and then we're just gonna floor the accelerator to see what happens. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the Tesla shot ahead. This shot ahead of the Taycan. Can we catch the Tesla before we run out of space? Oh, the Taycan's coming fast. Can I get the Tesla? Got him. Wow, Tesla shot ahead. I really didn't expect that, knowing that those two cars have two gears and this is only one, so good results for Tesla. I don't know whether this was like changing down again. I don't know what it was doing, whether it was the gearbox actually played against it on this occasion because it's in the second gear or the, I don't know. What do you reckon, Richard, in your Taycan? I think it did. It almost like did a kick down because you had a slight jump first and then it carried on going and I felt the change of gear later on. Right. Uh, EQS, was that nice and chill for you? 
Yeah, it certainly was. I feel like somebody's chauffeur bringing up the rear, just ready to pick you up if you break down. Not really feeling like I'm in the race, to be honest. <laughs> To be fair, I think we really need to come again with the dual motor version of the EQS, but it's the only car available in the UK. We wanted to get it in the video, so here it is. But he's enjoying it, it's lovely in there. Anyway, let's try something else to see if we can take that kick down of these gearboxes from the Porsche and the Audi out of the equation. Let's do another rolling race. This time though, we're gonna be doing it from 50. See if this makes a difference. You ready everyone? Three, two, one, go. Once again, that Tesla. And the same thing's gonna play out now. Am I gonna have enough space to come past the Tesla? Yes, and I'm right with the take on there. Oh, is he gonna run out of runway again? Hasn't he learned? He's determined to win that, Richard is. Very similar, though I was never ahead of the Taycan that time, and I didn't feel any kick down, did you? Not that I noticed, I felt the gear change up later on, but the Tesla jumped it again, it took me until 115 miles per hour to actually come past that. Now, I don't want to kind of appease the Tesla fanboys by saying that actually in the real world, that instant pickup and acceleration is more useful, isn't it, than passing up God knows how many miles an hour like we did. That's the non-performance, but I wasn't really expecting it. it. does bite away very quickly. Once again, EQS, um, thanks for coming. Okay, now we're gonna have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. When we reach the cone, full emergency stop. Right, the cone is coming up the now. Here it is, here it is. Well, Richard, I beat you. So much for your high performance brakes. What happened? It must be down to the driver and poor reactions. It felt like a bit hard, the ABS was doing its thing, but you're behind me. And you're not really that much far ahead of the big heavy EQS. No, I was surprised. He was pretty much there next to me the whole time. And I think only at the very end, I finished quicker. So it wasn't much in it during the most of the braking zone. Now that EQS is just so huge. I can't really see where the Tesla is. What happened, Tesla? Where are you? Yeah, I did come last. It just kept sliding and sliding and couldn't get grip at all. This e-tron, I didn't feel any ABS. It just dug in and stopped, really impressed with the stopping on this. I'm also quite impressed with that EQS because it is so heavy, yet it didn't really get humiliated by these other two cars, which I'd say are lighter, but they're still quite heavy, aren't they? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Now I've got an amazing offer on one of these cars through Carway. If you click on the pop-out banner up there, you can check out what that offer is. There's also a link in the description so you can see what it is there if you don't see the pop-out banners. As ever, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. I've also put a link to Richard's channel in the description below. I really would appreciate it if you went to his channel and just follow him there and then comment on some of his videos saying, we're sent here from Carway. Thanks for lending us the cars because it will just give him the encouragement to make sure he brings more for us to drag race. Thanks for watching.